If you look down that way, you'll notice a building that's uh, next to the hall that has some offices above it. I think it's the atrium. Um, and that's, I was in a meeting there in 1994 where we were discussing things on a Saturday morning and watching the farmer's market go by. And it occurred to me then, that, I wonder why it doesn't go the other way. Maybe we should make it go the way. You know, see if we can get the thing to go. And it's been sort of percolating in my head for a long time. And at some point, I started talking to some other people. About it, and as happens when you start talking about things, uh, you either put up or you shut up. And I found myself not wanting to shut up, so here we are. One of my thoughts was it's sort of like a crop rotation. You know, we have farmers, farmers' products here, and that like the farmers need to rotate their crops. We should rotate the farmers' market occasionally and get it to go the other way. Having said that, we also have some other thoughts. Maybe it's sort of like a clock where a clock winds down. Well, we need to rewind the farmer's market so that it gets more energy. Or as some of these other things would suggest, this is a test in community adaptivity. If we're able to get people to uh, make a change like this and to comply with the, the notion that we should go a different direction, should suggest that they're a fairly flexible bunch. If we're not able to do that, then I suspect we may be fooling ourselves and thinking that we're as liberal as we like to think we are. Hmm. There's other ways you might look at it, uh, but I, I'm personally the one that came up with the one about maybe going left again. Here we have, uh, even in Madison, we've been going to the right uh, in a political sense for probably, probably since the, the mid-80s and have gotten to the point now where we're a fairly... Um, ordinary community and maybe especially in light of a lot of the more current events in terms of the national political scene a little bit of adjustment to the left would be suitable at least in my estimation it would so anyway that's a couple of different ideas on the on that front to see if we can get some conversation going about this going good morning good morning are you going to help us today that's correct we're looking at making the farmer's market go the other way today Take your choice. <laughs> See what you usually do. Hey, now's your chance. <laughs> Have the flow go with you. <laughs> you got it. You got to catch us coming on. While we're trying, we just we, while we're trying well, to get I'll it done. Good morning. You join us this morning? Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Want to get around? No, <laughs> please, please do. Oh God, Here, that would that, that, that would so screw us up. We usually do a coffee lap, and then we buy grocery, buy the food, the second lap. So then what would we do if we were going counter? Would we oh, no, buy I, food, then do our coffee? There you go. See, I'm confused. Well. I'm asking people to walk to the left today for a change. Something different, kind of a performance art, social experiment kind of deal. Okay. Asking people to walk to the left today. You'll see somebody like me at every corner. Great. <laughs> asking people to walk to the left. Okay. For something different. <laughs> Going well so far. <laughs> that was about one for six, I think. You want to go the other way? This is a one day only uh, event, I will tell you. So that you're not committing to a lifetime of going clockwise. Who is we? Who's we? Yeah, we're. Hang on. That's what you represent. I, I must tell you that we represent no authority. <laughs> you guys right. have a good morning. Nor people have suggested that we must be affiliated with the university to do a study or something. I can assure you that there is no intelligence associated with one of the old turned to the left. Well, that would be a personal uh, decision. This is tradition. You can't? It's farmer's market etiquette. You gotta go this way. Oh, no, no, no. This is an exercise in flexibility. It's tried before and it didn't work. Why not? Why didn't it work? 
There are too many people that are using their old habits. Well, what do we do about that? Well, Nothing. Just, just let it be. <laughs> no. no. Why? Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Hi, asking people to walk to the left today. Kind of an yeah. experiment. No. <laughs> nah. Okay. Um, so far I'm getting a lot of evil looks and mutterings that as people go past me, they say things like, you know, everyone should really go the same way. So it's not really a positive experience, <laughs> but I'm almost But we, we thank you for trying. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great idea. Why not? Um, Why not? Right. Good morning. Good morning. We're encouraging people to go clockwise around the square today. I don't see going clockwise. Why? Why would you like to do that? Well, we have a, a flyer here, which has some very good reasons. I think you'll find them quite sound. Um, okay, well, I read it, but right now I'm going to follow the rest of the people. Follow the rest of the people? You know where they're going? It's so There's hard. a big hole up there, and they're all falling in. I'll probably go like the little lambs, follow everybody. <laughs> I'll read through this and see if it's going. Um, I'm getting about 60% agreeing happily. Um, some people gleefully, but I've gotten some people who are really quite hostile about this and absolutely will not even consider um, going around uh, clockwise. You know I used to walk in the shade with those blue on the rain. It's ridiculous. I'm pretty indifferent. I think it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I have the right to go anyway. <laughs> You have to continue to move here on the Capitol grounds. Well, let's put it this way. You're going to get people hurt, and then you suddenly give the market a bad name. Because then they start running into you with the wagons and the bike, the trikes, and all that. So who, so who are these rabble-rousers that make people go the wrong direction? Do you think there's a political message there? Left from whose perspective? I guess. From his perspective. I see. Well, then that's a good thing. Uh, is it a political statement? Uh, no, actually not. <laughs> okay, see, that's what I was wondering if I was making a political statement. I wouldn't want to go left. So. I think that says a lot about Madison. I, I, think, I think we're all pretty much conformists. Well, I mean, that's, that's the way the Republican Party or conservatives lean is to the, to the right. I, I don't have an opinion. What's the yeah. verdict? Uh, Why do we want to change directions? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea to uh, reverse directions. Every other week could be reversed. Our little German heritage is coming back to, to show how regimented we can be. <laughs> Some of the conversation that came up in the post-mortem, if you will, people seem to feel a need to have some reason for doing something, and, and just doing it for, as my sister would say, grins, or just doing it just for the fun of it, or for community flexibility demonstrations wasn't quite enough motivation to get them to do something different. Um, politicizing it wouldn't be a good idea, because then people would know everybody's politics walking and, and would take always go. serious issue with each other. People come here to be anonymous, you know, they not directly to be anonymous, but they come here just to be part of the crowd, away from their day-to-day -day lives, and just, right, just follow the crowd and go around and not have to be anybody. You know, just I wonder how much it would be to rent sheep dip ramps, the things where they put the cattle in and they have to go and then they give them shots and stuff. They must have a lot of those around, they can't be in use all the time. <laughs> With that, we'll wrap. We'll grab you. Get your hand. Leave your worries on the doorstep now. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that old pillow back? 
tune is yours. 